Finally, lawmakers are asking two questions. How to increase social security SSI and SSDI and the effect of immigration on social security finances. One of the biggest issues right now that social security is facing is the solvency issue. At the same time, a number of social security beneficiaries are struggling because of this worse inflation and all they need is an increase in their benefits. And one lawmaker came in front and asked a question to the social security actuary that no one even thought about. Whether it's Medicare or Social Security, obviously the, the good news of this strong economy obviously helping us and giving us more time to grapple with this issue uh, here in Congress. Now, let me transition uh, to immigration. Very simply, does immigration help or hurt the financing of Social Security uh, and Medicare. Well, yes, this is indeed a very important question. I'm going to show you this entire video clip because this video is going viral all over the internet. And remember that this question is very important because the upcoming administration has its stance on illegal immigration and how it's going to affect Social Security. This is very important for close to 70 million Social Security recipients. Remember, I'm going to break down each and everything for you in this video, including I'm going to give you some breaking news and the news that will certainly give you a shock and you will say that is it even possible well before i start the video i would like to ask you just for a little favor to please smash the like button on this video as it helps this video and the channel as well so without any further ado let's start the video Remember that things are changing very quickly for social security recipients, including the increase in benefits for millions of Americans, a hot topic right now. And why we are saying this? Because social security, SSI and SSDI recipients are struggling in this worse inflation. They need some sort of relief as soon as possible. And especially the SSI and SSDI means disability beneficiaries are struggling the most. Around 5 million social security recipients are living under poverty right now. And now people are saying that the biggest culprit is the illegal or legal immigration. But we need to see is this even true? Well, how immigration reform could bolster social security and Medicare solvency and address direct care workforce issues. And the details are indeed very shocking. Remember that at the US population ages, the baby boom generation approaches the 80s policymaker face two critical challenges. First, the solvency of the key old age support program, social security and Medicare is in jeopardy. Second, there's a serious and growing end advocacy of direct care workforce and occupations such as certified nursing assistants, home health aids and personal care aids remember that a number of people are already struggling because the inflation is simply killing them why i'm saying this remember that according to a recent report from gallup the prices of grocery are up by 21 percent and you know how much of an increase you're getting in your benefits just 2.5 percent from january which is indeed quite shameful to see social security benefits hasn't been changed in the past 73 years and which is quite a shame in a nation where we give billions of dollars to other nations and our own people are struggling right now they're living under poverty how can you justify this situation let me know in the comments below what do you think about it well right here i would like to ask you this very important question what do you think that illegal immigration is bad for social security or legal immigration is bad for social security both are different topics but the answer should be similar let me know in the comments below what do you think about this whole situation so let's go towards the details and this is very very important the effect of immigration on social security finance is one of the biggest concern right now that the people have the primary social security trust fund is projected to be depleted by 2033 unless congress acts at the time benefits will face an automatic 21 percent reduction in benefits threatening the financial security for millions of americans and right here i would like to ask you this very important question why the benefits will face a 21 percent cut when we have billions and trillions of dollars yes you heard it absolutely right a lot of people will debate that no the u.s has no money well we have money and we can do wonders why because at the same time we can give billions of dollars to other nations and the war-torn countries why not spend that money on our own people and that's what american people has been asking for a very long time and this is the question that i would like to ask you do you think that we should give billions of dollars to other nations who are struggling right now and first we should care about our own people and we should spend that money on our own people especially seniors yes we are talking about 70 million social security recipients who consist of seniors disabled americans as well as children and this 
it's a shame to see that the Congress is not doing anything for them. All they do is talk. They never vote on bills. Just when it comes to police officers, firefighters, teachers, and other public sector workers, they always work towards those bills. But when it comes to the general people who are living in poverty right now, nobody cares. Well, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this whole situation. And now let's watch that rest of the video from the Senate floor hearing where things took a shocking turn where this question raised from a senator that how immigration affects social security let's watch and i'll come back and give you some more details about this as well as i'll break down this video and its details for you whether it's medicare or social security obviously the the good news of this strong economy obviously helping us and giving us more time to grapple with this issue uh here in congress now let me transition uh to immigration very simply does immigration help or hurt the financing of Social Security uh, and Medicare? Let me start at least. Uh, immigration typically is for people who are in their 20s to maybe late 30s. So generally speaking, when people uh, enter the country as immigrants, along in many cases with children, but people of working age tend to be of younger age. Therefore, when they come to the country, uh, they tend to come here for economic opportunity uh, and enter the labor force. And that's very much a positive that actually helps us with having more revenue coming in. Eventually, they will uh, develop insured status and be able to get benefits. Although not necessarily all of them. We will have some people who are actually paying, literally paying into the system, but will actually never uh, receive benefits uh, decades later. Absolutely. And, and another positive is that people enter in their 20s, 30s, etc. Uh, as immigrants, uh, they may have children along the way, and that adds to the births that we have in our country that helps solve some of our problems with low birth rates. Especially given every country in the Western world is challenged from a birth rate uh, perspective and will increasingly be challenged over the next 40 to 50 years. We discussed this uh, separately, it turns out. I m mentioned this in my opening remarks and you also touched on it as well. But I just wanna make it again crystal clear for everyone. Social security does not add one dime to our national debt. So after watching this video, let me know in the comments below, what do you think is the actual answer from the social security actuary? What do you think about this whole situation? Do you think the social security after watching this video is affected by immigration or is just the matter of illegal immigration and legal immigration? Because if there's legal immigration, the people are into the system, they pay into the system, then they get the money they deserve. Or at the same time, if there's illegal immigration, these people are never in the system. So how come they receive social security? That's the biggest debate right now let me know in the comments below what do you think about this whole situation because this is very important and if you don't talk about it nothing happens again at the same time i'm going to make a dedicated video on the increase in social security and on the proposal of bernie sanders as well as from john larson these two proposals are really important john larson is talking about across the board increases to social security while bernie sanders is talking about 2400 yearly increase that translates to 200 increase every single month and donald J. Trump means President-elect Donald J. Trump said that when he comes to the power on January 20th, the first thing he will do is crack down on illegal immigration and at the same time, there will be no taxes on social security. Things will be really interesting. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon again if you have any questions at all then let me know in the comments below. I will see you in the next video very soon. Till then, please take care and have a nice day.